Alright, hello, this is Eddie V. Hey, all you guys. Um, right now, I'm going to show you guys how to replace evaporated water. Well, I'm, I know it's simple, but I'm going to show you the fresh water way and the salt water way. So, we're going to start with the fresh water way. Now, as we can see, we need to add a little bit of fresh water in here. So, we open up the lid, of course. And the next, first thing we do is, well, this water, I'm going to be making videos later on uh, how to make aged water, but this water is should be at water temperature. That's the minimum thing you got to have, is water at water temperature that's aged and dechlorinated. So, we get our water. And just pour it gently into the tank. All right, folks. Now here we are at the saltwater reef tank, which will sooner or later become a reef. Now, to doing a reef, it's a little bit tricky to replace evaporated water. I mean, you don't have to add salt, but we got to measure the specific gravity or salinity of the aquarium in order to determine if we need to add salt to evaporated water or not. As it turns out. My specific gravity is between 1.26 and 1.25. Now that shows water has evaporated because I had it between 1.25 and 1.24. Now as always, we got to have dechlorinated and aged water. Now I'll, it's a little bit trickier, so I'll show you if you don't want corals to die from sudden changes, I'll show you what's the best thing to do. Now the next thing to do, as you can see here, I got a airline tubing. Now this is exactly what you would need to do. First we get our dechlorinated aged fresh water and put that on top of the tank take off the lid then we insert the airline tubing down to the bottom of the gallon take one end and let it drain out as you see right here, it's already draining out fresh water. And this slowly drains out your fresh water without having too sudden of a water temperature change or sudden of specific gravity change. That's all for tonight. Take care.